And Anna, you say I've been eating it all the time. It's just delicious. That's why you thick it is. You know? Girl. Look. Ain't no fun size, honey. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> Hi, I'm Caitlin Mardell. And I'm a singer. I'm a designer. I'm a creative. I'm glittery. I'm golden. And all of the above. That's me. Why sing? Out of everything I do, singing is my number one because it's a natural feeling and it's something that it just runs in my blood. I can't really explain that. Um, it was passed down to me from my father and I grew up on it always. Um, it was his thing. It was like everyday type of thing. We would be driving, whether we were in the house. It was my life. And I don't think that I could live without it. That's my father, Chris Ballard. That's um that's my producer, my engineer. <laughs> that's like my lifeline, honestly. He taught me everything I know. He taught me like slightly how to engineer. He just taught me everything. So without him, like I probably wouldn't be singing, doing anything. He's like the reason for everything. But um, it's funny because my singing name, Caitlin Rydell, my, I have two last names, my name is Caitlin Rydell Ballard, and like, it's kind of like a thing whether it should be Caitlin Ballard or Caitlin Rydell. But I stuck with Caitlin Rydell because it was uh, growing up, like growing up all through school, it was always Caitlin Ballard, so I did Caitlin Rydell. But yeah, he's like, he's like, Best friend. He helps me everything. He produces most of my tracks. Like if I put out an official mixtape, it's probably his production. He's like my Timbaland. I'm JT. For sure. So Caitlin Rydell, I'm golden. I feel like if <laughs> there was one word to describe who I am as a singer and like what I do, it would be gold. I feel like it's soulful. It's rich. It leaves you wanting more, and I feel like that's what I strive to do in every song I write. That's my goal for everybody. So that's why my project Golden Soul. This is my. That's what I stand for. Soul. Feel for you is like melodically, the beat, everything. It's like, it's like something that I would listen to. I make music so that. I make music for myself and for people. I feel like I need to be able to listen to it. I need to be able to relate to it. I need people to love it. If I'm not gonna like it, then I don't wanna put it out. Feel For You is like, it's like my favorite song. Like my favorite ultimate song. And I feel like proud of myself that I made it, it's mine. And the lyrics, it's very, everything I write is heartfelt. Everything means something to me. And I feel like Feel For You portrays that. One of the best ways. Yeah. So right now I'm just recording. Um, I'm in the works. I just finished Public Holiday, and that was fun. But I've been like writing. That's like really my biggest challenge right now is writing, getting all the feelings out. Right now, recording. That's like number one. I'm looking to do more shows in the future. My goal is just to be respected, be like known for my craft and like what I do. And I just want to be like taken away as quality. That's that's what I want. My music is quality, so that's that's where I'm at. That's a big deal. So what I feel sets me apart is the fact that anything that you hear from me, I write. I'm not saying that for the rest of my life I will write, but I feel like my writing skills, everything that comes out of me is just genuine. Like, no one can take that from me. Like, all of my music is like, it's straight from me, it's my truth. I've had people actually tell me like, oh, when I listen to your music, not everybody knows who I am. I don't speak that much. I'm not really like, I'm really shy. I don't really like, you know, it takes a while for me to warm up. But when people that don't know me hear my music, they're like, wow, I didn't know that you had all that emotion and like, who you are. And I feel like today, a lot of music 
isn't really <laughs> today a lot of music I feel like isn't really we don't know how genuine it is it's like fast fast music fast fashion is fast music. it's like we don't know what's the truth I feel like I tell the truth and everything that might set me apart right now I definitely feel like that and I feel like I hope that sets me apart forever because some of the greats tell the truth Lauren Hill was telling the truth. She never stopped. I feel like she told the truth so much people couldn't really take it. Today, I feel like there's a lot of challenges that go on in the state of R&B. I don't really feel like it exists in the way that it should. I feel like it's lacking. I feel like there's people that are trying to bring it back. For example, Kehlani. I feel like she tries to write her music and she tries to put her heart into what she does. And she's very personable to me. Like relatable. I feel like there's other women that aren't really relatable, which is fine. I just feel like the industry is just like, it's just money driven. It's more on like, how you get new chest for the fastest. But the music is disappearing slowly. That's the scariest thing for me about today. I don't feel that I'm scared to see in a few years where it'll be. But then I'm not scared because I feel like I'll be I'll be there. But it's right now it's it's drifting like it's just I feel like it's just on it's not on how good the music is, on what it what people are saying anymore. That's the biggest challenge to me, like staying enjoyable and then staying conscious at the same time. And I don't feel like, I feel like Drake is good at that to a certain extent, but I feel like women, like, I don't really see that balance right now too much. It's kind of sad. Sis is pretty conscious, she's a great writer, but I don't feel that like, to me, like, I respect you more of a writer than a vocalist at this point. So if I see people and I'm like, oh, she writes for this person, this person, this person, like, oh, she's, that's a talent, like, that's, that's a good thing to have, like, but, like, if you're just a face, I mean, I respect you, you know, you're in your business, but. This is Caitlin Rondell, and I'm so Melanie NYC.